Hi guys! Um, welcome back to my channel, and today I actually have a review for you. I'm going to be reviewing the LA Colors, oh, it's the LA Colors Eyeshadow Nude, and it comes with 12 eyeshadows, and this is the one that I had actually hauled from the Dollar Tree haul, that was the previous video, I'll link that in the video later, but, um, in the shade, I guess the shade's traditional, but... These eyeshadows looked really pretty. Hold on. I'm going to unbox it with you. I mean, for you. <laughs> but, um, it says that these 12 beautifully color-coordinated color combinations in one sleek palette, um, provide smooth, silky texture. Allows the eyeshadow to glide on evenly for a soft, satin finish. Okay. I'm all down for that. Colors can be used individually for a subtle or natural look or blend it all together. It even has application instructions on here which is pretty cool. Okay, it says you can use the applicator it comes with which I um, couldn't do that <laughs> cuz I don't like these things personally. But um then it says sweep a darker shadow from above the crease. Why would you want to do above the crease like into your eyebrow? <laughs> no, but um I guess so. I mean it depends on what kind of eyes you have. But, um, above the crease to below the brow, okay? Blending it for a natural look. Apply a lighter shadow just underneath the eyebrow. For a dramatic look, apply a darker color in the outer corner of the lid. So, like, on the outer V of your eye. Oh, and I'll move my hair out the way. Sorry, guys. I know it's in the way right now, but, um. Alright, let's get down to it. Hold on, I'm gonna open this, okay? Okay, but seriously, that moment whenever you open it, but look what happens. <laughs> it's like, what? I have to poke it with something, so I'll be back. Alright, now I'm a little closer and I scooted my bangs off. But, to give this eyeshadow a fair try, I cleaned my eyebrow. I mean, my eye makeup. Yeah, my eye makeup brushes. And so I could give this a fair, even try so it wouldn't have any other shadows on it that I have. But, um, let's see. It doesn't have, like, any shade names on the back of it. Which most palettes that have, like, more eyeshadows, like the- Ooh, it looks pretty. But, uh, most of them don't have names. But these are what the colors look like. They're so pretty. Like, perfect for fall. And I noticed, too, it has three matte shades in there, which I'm surprised, because, like, Dollar Tree usually just has shimmer eyeshadows. But the matte ones are this one right here, this kind of, I don't know, warm brown color. This one right here. And then that one right there. All the rest of them are kind of like, have glitter specks in them. But, I think today I'm just going to go for like, a lighter color on my lid like it said. Then a crease color, then like, white underneath my eyebrow. So, I'm going to test out the white because I'm always curious how white works with these things. So, let's see. Let me see, let me get my mirror. It's going to be easier to do it than the mirror. Whoops. <gasps> guys do you see that <laughs> I'm impressed like what this is only a dollar okay I'm already liking this white shade honestly if I don't like any of the rest of the colors I just be down for this white shade cause oh it's pretty <sighs> of course I'm gonna go back and blend it in normally though I don't like to put white shimmers underneath my eyebrow I like to use the matte ones just cause like if you don't pluck your eyebrows the white will show up more. But um, in a minute, we'll blend that out more whenever we use the crease shade. But now, I'm going to try... Uh, I'm feeling... I'm going to try this warmer color right here, kind of. Well, I don't know if it's warm. It's kind of like a peach brown color. Dude, this has got me shook. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh, and I didn't put any, like... Oh, uh, This one... It pops up more natural. It's not like super pigmented, but it's pretty. I can't really see the like, I don't know, the tan color. It just kind of looks like sparkles there. Do you guys see it? I don't know. It just kind of looks like a sparkle color. It looks kind of natural, but these are nude shades, so it's not like going to be super like crazy out there in color. I may try to go in with, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to go in with this one, actually, this, um, color right here, the matte one, 
just because I kind of want it like a little bit darker, a little more tan looking on my eyes. But, um, oh, these shadows aren't too bad. Like, they're not like amazing quality, but they blend out pretty easy. And they're really shiny, but I'm really impressed with that white color. Like, it's pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with actually the same color, just as a transition shade. Because I don't want to start off with like a super dark eyeshadow on my crease. And then we'll build up to the darker colors. I'm really anxious to see about the darker colors. Because, wow, I'm impressed. Like, I didn't expect, like, this to show up even the white so it's a really pretty palette though the nude colors um i think they had like another one there but i'm more into like the nude eyeshadows i don't like the super duper crazy colors out there that's not me so every once in a while i like to do those but okay now i'm gonna go in with let's see i think i'm gonna go in with that matte eyeshadow shade right there the top and we're gonna blend. Okay, um, it's not super pigmented. Like, I did a pretty good dip in there, so. It is showing up, but it's not as much as I would like it to. But these look like more natural colors. And in, like, a, a weird way, this kind of reminds me of the Wet n' Wild eyeshadow palette, the... On Naturel palette. A lot of people didn't like that, but I did. Alright. Let's see. Which one? I don't know. Um, I think I might go in with this... With this, uh... Hmm. Which one do I want to use? That looks more of like a purplish brown, maybe plum color. I think I'm going to go in with this one right here. Just to see. It's kind of shimmery, so I don't normally like putting shimmers in my crease, but today we're going to do it. These eyeshadows, like, I can smell it. It smells like baby powder. Should that be a concern? <laughs> I don't know. Is it safe to, like, put baby powder on your eye? I have no idea. I don't know. They do. It smells like it's made with baby powder. Huh. It, it doesn't, like, smell bad, but if you're sensitive to smells, I don't know. Alright, I really like this so far. Like, it's a pretty palette. If you're just trying to go for a natural makeup look, I would recommend this, definitely. Like, don't go and buy one of those huge palettes at Walmart or whatever, or wherever, just to get, like, eyeshadows that don't show up super pigmented. Just go to the Dollar Tree and get this one, the nude eyeshadows. Because this is pretty. I really like these. Wow. I'm, I'm actually a little impressed. I do. I like this uh, brown shade right here. I'm kind of curious about the red. Maybe I should do a little bit of red on the bottom. I think I will. I'm going to try the red on the bottom of my eye. Okay, so this red eyeshadow, it does show up. I can see it, but it's not like... Super pigmented. I like it because you can actually build up these colors, I think. Like, it looks more of a pinky red, but on here, it looks more like a fall red. Like, I don't know. It reminded me of, like, the color of fall leaves. But, um, it's looking more like a pink red, and now it looks like I'm crying. <laughs> but, um, I'm going to go in with an, one of the brown eyeshadow shades underneath it because I kind of don't want to look like I'm crying. I just wanted to see how it looked. Oh no. I do. I look like I've been crying. <laughs> my eyes are red. Okay, the brown eyeshadow is not showing up underneath my eye. That one. Really? Wow. I look like I've been crying. I'm gonna uh try to change it with another eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with that um Brown I used on my crease, and hopefully, hope I can change it. Sorry guys, I got some eyeshadow in my eye, but first thing um, I notice is I do have fallout, like around here. Uh, I can see it, like the 
it's not my highlight, but like I can see the a little bit of the brown colors and then some of the sparkle from the eyeshadows. But it's not bad at all. I mean, if you wear highlight and stuff, it's not bad. You can't really notice it. But this is actually a pretty palette. I'm kind of impressed. But I think I don't like this shade right here. I don't like that one. This one is good for the crease, but I don't like that one. So I'm going to go in with the white color because I feel like there's nothing on my eyelids. Like, you can't tell. I don't know. I like, I like a bright lid. But I love this white color. Like, if they sold this white color individually, I would buy it because it's really pretty. Yeah, I really love it. But, um, thank you guys for watching. And this is my honest opinion on this thing. But go get you one. Like, it's worth a try, you know? And I think they do have maybe one more palette kind of like this. I'm not sure how those shades work out, but I like it. Thank you. Bye.